So to beat Sally's stage play, you're going to need discipline, courage, and be good at the game. Because Sally's stage play really isn't all that hard to S rank. Beating her doesn't take much time at all, and a few charms can make this much easier to deal with. I suspect people don't know the strategy they should use to beat her, which is why we're going to start by using Roundabout and Spread as our main shots. They cover all the bases of range and damage consistency during each phase, and are the most effective weapons for the boss. The main problem with Sally's stage play is that she essentially splits the stage wherever she stands, so you can be left with not much space to work with to dodge all incoming attacks. Smoke Bomb allows you to completely bypass this, and in a reasonably safe way. This will also help you not take damage from the various projectiles, so overall it's very useful for this fight. The super doesn't really matter here, so I'd advise bringing whatever you're comfortable with. I personally will be using Energy Beam because I like getting over phases as fast as possible, but invincibility can really help with phases you struggle not taking damage on, and Giant Ghost can be effective while using Roundabout, but hey, you do you. So, with the loadout set up and us ready to fight, let's get into how to easily S-Rank Sally's stage play. Sally's first phase is a little tricky if you're rushing everything you're doing, which is why I frankly do the opposite. Most of her attacks can be avoided quite easily with very little movement. Her main attack consists of her jumping upwards and then corkscrewing down to the ground at an angle. Because of this, you don't have to move at all, so when she does this attack, simply don't move. You can see how Sally will do the same move over and over again and I never get hit. Sometimes when she jumps into the air, she'll remain in the air, throw down a fan towards you, and fall back down. The fan remains on the ground as a trap for a long period of time before vanishing, so you'll have to be aware of where the fan is so you don't accidentally run into it. This is why Smoke Bomb is very useful here, so you can simply dash over it. You don't have to dash over it, but in this case, it just gives you another option to avoid this trap. Just pay attention to what she's doing in the air and react accordingly. She will also be swallowed by her parasol, and after a second or two, fall from above at a random place on or around you. You can typically wait till she starts falling and then react accordingly, but I've also found it generally safe to just move and dash in one direction after you see her reappear. Pretty simple to avoid this one. And the last attack she can do is blow a heart towards you that travels across the screen in a wave pattern. You will want to parry this heart if you can, and in fact, you should try not to move past this phase without getting at least two parries. The main difficulty when it comes to S-ranking Sally's stage play is the parry requirement, since there are very few opportunities to get your parries. And in fact, again, the only times you can get parries normally is in the first and last phase. So again, you'll want to get at least two parries in the first phase, and then you can get the last parry during the last phase. The first phase is really not a problem, but her second phase can be very annoying to pass without accidentally taking a hit. When she's transitioning to her second phase, I like to shoot roundabout shots so when she appears, the lingering roundabout shots will deal damage. Then I switch to spread and try to deal as much spread damage as I can. She'll keep both her jumping attacks from the first phase, but she'll also have a new attack. She'll spin her parasol and summon two mouse toys on each side of her. These mouse toys will travel across the floor, climb the sides of the screen, and travel on the ceiling until they are above you and fall down slowly to the ground and break. Once she starts doing this attack for the first time, I would advise you switch to roundabout and use that for the rest of the phase, because this attack by itself is manageable, especially while using Smoke Bomb, but it's her children in the background that make this tougher than normal. Sally's children will throw milk bottles from one of the nine windows present in the background, every two seconds or so. This basically leaves the whole screen like a minefield for this phase, and that's why Smoke Bomb excels heavily for this phase, not only to dodge the falling objects, but also to avoid Sally when she's in the way, so you can avoid everything falling on you and on the floor. You pretty much rinse, repeat, and react accordingly, and you'll get past this phase in no time. Her third phase normally can be somewhat difficult, but Smoke Bomb eliminates two of the only three attacks during this phase. The only attack that will have any actual effect is the lightning attack, in which she summons anywhere from two to four lightning bolts that come at you. Just make sure to move and dash out of the way, and that's pretty much it. She'll also summon a meteor from above that randomly lands on the ground, and shooting it reveals a pink star that raises upwards. With Smoke Bomb, this really doesn't matter, so just ignore the meteor altogether and just dodge it when it comes down. Then Sally can also summon a big wave that travels across the screen. It's quite easy to dodge this by just jumping around here, or at the thinnest part of the wave, and dashing. Just dash to the left from around here to clear the wave. You can destroy the meteor so it's not in the way to clear the big wave if you want, 
but I just tend to dodge over it and quickly dash left and immediately continue dealing damage to Sally. She'll go down in no time if you do this. So with that third phase easily over, we finally enter the last phase, and well, the easiest phase of this fight. You'll want to stand around here and shoot upwards with Roundabout to start immediately dealing damage to Sally once she enters. Once she starts moving, you sort of just follow her while shooting upwards at an angle and deal consistent damage while she's moving. And if you can't do that, just jump around and shoot Roundabout and she'll eventually go down. While you're doing this, you'll have her parasol that floats to the ground and starts following you slowly. You can simply just move side to side and dash over when you're starting to get cornered, and just get damage as much as you can. You have plenty of time to beat Sally, so really just take your time. The last thing that happens is the audience throws roses from up above the stage that fall down. Sometimes the rose is pink, which you'll most definitely need to parry to meet your parry requirements, so please do not beat this phase until you've parried one rose, unless you got all your parries in the first phase or the secret second phase, which we will talk about now because that's pretty much all there is to Sally's last phase, so congratulations on now being able to S-rank Sally's stage play. There isn't an optional secret second phase that gets you more parries, but this is really unnecessary, so just take your time and get all your parries during the first phase, or get at least two and get your last parry during the last phase. Just wanted to make that clear because it's very important you get all your parries to secure the parry requirement for an S rank. So Sally is pretty simple to fight after understanding each phase and knowing how to tackle each attack in the fight. I hope this video makes the fight easier for anyone watching and if you learned something, comment your thoughts down below. And if not, comment anyways because I try to read any comments when I can and like to respond to engaging comments. Thank you all for watching, that's how you S rank Sally's stage play and best of luck with your S ranks.